hello everyone thank you for watching and welcome to my channel and so if i sound a little bit off today that's because i just woke up from a very bad uh, nightmare and then gave me an idea to show you how to make spider webs in 3ds max so you guys should go ahead on over to this website it's called maxplugins.de it's a really great resource for getting lots of free plugins for 3ds max so depending on your 3ds max version you should click on any one of these links so I'd go to max 2012 because that's what i'm using and i'll search for spider so this is the plugin that you need to create spider web so just go ahead and download it uh, but i've already downloaded my one so here it goes so once you have extracted it you should go on to either 32-bit or 64-bit depending on which version you're using so I'm using 64 bit I'll go and copy this plugin so once you're done copying just go to your max installation directory go search for plugins there and paste it here but I have already uh, pasted my one so anyway once you're done with it just go and start your 3ds max and once your max is uh, loaded just go to here and this is the plugin that I was talking about. So just uh, start clicking on people randomly to create different uh, points. So once you're satisfied, just click outside. Okay. So right now it looks like a flat plane. That's because it is just a flat plane. So if we go in, uh, if we go to our wireframe mode, you can see. Okay, we need to change the color. Let's change it to black. Okay, now you can see the you know um, wireframe and the uh, uh, polyflow of this object. So just go on to points, select different points, and uh, try to you know move around until you get your desired you know spider web. So let's say we are satisfied with this one. Now, if at this point you try to render. All you'd see is that same plane. You need to apply a uh, wire material to it. So just go on your material editor, which is uh, the shortcut is M by the way. We'll apply this one and we will make it a wire. Now, don't worry about all these, you know, uh, connecting edges. This won't show up on your render. So yeah, here you go. But even at this point, this is just a 2D object. So if we need to make it 3D, what you need to do is apply a lattice to it. So I'll go to modifiers, add a lattice. Uh, we need to add a different material now since this is a 3D object. We'll go to our shaded view and just start controlling the radius until you're satisfied. So I guess 0.3 would be enough. So yeah, there you go. This is a, a, a 3D spider web. So uh, right now it looks pretty jagged. So if you want to make it smooth, I think you already know. You just need to apply a turbo smooth. So where is turbo smooth? There. Okay. So if you hit the render, this is what you get. So hopefully this has been, uh, uh, you know, uh, helpful to you. Uh, I hope you uh, visit me again, and uh, we can have much more fun time. So once again, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.